Hello! Shock16 back with yet another video as you can probably tell from the title above. This is a special thank you video for a fellow YouTuber called Cameron. He goes by the name of Time Travel Pirate. If you're not familiar with Time Travel Pirate I will drop a link to his channel below in the description bar. And the reason why I'm thanking the pirate that likes to time travel is because he did me a great deal on not one but two bundles. The first bundle was a Nintendo 64 bundle and the second bundle was a Sega Saturn bundle. So sit back, relax and I'll take you through them. With this bundle came a little note from Cameron himself so I'll read this to you now in my best reading voice. <coughs> Hello Shock16. That's me that is. Hope you enjoy these games. Looking forward to seeing more vids on your channel. I have included a copy of mm, 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 as a little Brucey bonus. Okay, mm. most of these Nintendo 64 games actually featured in Cameron's trades video. The original bundle did have a copy of Pilot Wings, but after posting the video, Cameron did notice that the copy of Pilot Wings was actually a Japanese import. I'm not really um, buying imports at the minute, so I swapped it for a different game, and that game was classic Mario 64. I'm sure anybody that's had a Nintendo 64 has either owned this game or played this game. Classic, can't beat a bit of Mario, so bob on with that one. Next up we have another platformer, which is Banjo-Kazooie. I've not actually played this game yet. Um, I think I did play it back in the game, and as far as I can remember, it was a bit like Crash Bandicoot, and I enjoyed Crash Bandicoot, so no doubt I'll enjoy this game too. Okay, next up is a sports title. As you probably know by now, I'm not big on sports titles, but as sports titles goes, this one is not that bad at all. This is World Cup 98. Out of all the football games that I've got, this is probably one of the best. Um, I did um, actually play on this for a few hours the other day. I got to the quarter-finals of um, the World Cup with England before I had to turn it off, so hopefully my game has been saved and then I can go back, kick some ass and win the World Cup with England. Bring it on. Next up we have a first person shooter which is Perfect Dark. Probably not the best game I've ever played but far from the worst game I've ever played. There's better first person shooters out there such as Doom or GoldenEye64 but yeah if you are into your first person shooters and you own a Nintendo 64 then do check out Perfect Dark. Then we've got Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, a game that I was actually looking forward to getting and playing on because I'm a big Star Wars fan. I did put some time into this the other day. I thought it was bloody hard to start off with, but um, it's shaping up to be a great game, so yeah, that's Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Next up is a game which I didn't actually ask for in the bundle, but Cameron just said I'll chuck it in anyway, so fair play to you mate, and that is Rugrats Treasure Hunt, not actually played this game. I did used to like the cartoon as a kid though, so maybe the game will match up to be as good as the cartoon was Rugrats Treasure Hunt. As Cameron did say in his letter that he included a little Brucey bonus. That Brucey bonus was Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. This is a game that I think I've seen get inflamed on the internet um, in reviews. Apparently not that good. But I played it and I'll, I have to say that I actually quite enjoyed it. I'll, it's a game that I will go back and play again. So thanks very much Cameron. Um, that's a great little Brucey bonus there. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Okay, that was the Nintendo 64 bundle. That's another seven games that I've now got to my Nintendo 64 collection. Thanks very much for that, Cameron. They're all brilliant. Top stuff, mate. So moving on, <clears throat> I'll now show you the Sega Saturn bundle. And we'll kick off with this game. That's Wiper, a classic racer. I can remember seeing the demo for this when the PlayStation 1 was first released and thinking, wow, that looks pretty amazing. I mean, it was all new at the time. Obviously, when you brought it, it wasn't that amazing but nevertheless it's not a bad game it's still a good game um so yeah wipe out a nice addition to the collection next mm -hmm. up we have another classic game which is rayman rayman in his best form in my opinion which is 2d form don't get me wrong i did like the 3d rayman games but i always thought it looked better in 2d i mean i was playing on this game earlier and i thought it still looked as great as it did when i was playing it back in the day and i was this game now about 15 16 years old so yeah, a game that looks that good after all these years, I think that's brilliant, and that's Rayman. Happy to have this one in my collection. <clears throat> Next up we've got this game, which is Sonic Jam. Basically this is a collection of all the great Sonic games from the Mega Drive. You've got Sonic 1 on there, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, 
and then you've got Sonic Jam which is a 3D Sonic game so not a bad um, title to have amongst the Sega Saturn collection this one next up we've got what is possibly the king of first person shooter games back in the day and that is of course Doom as you can see there um, well I think you can see there that's an exchange price of 9 99 obviously I got it cheaper buying it in this bundle so that worked out pretty good in my favour um, so yeah Doom classic game which should be in any collection in my opinion <clears throat> and then we've got yet another classic title which is Tomb Raider I was never really a big fan of the Tomb Raider games never really spent much time on a Tomb Raider game um, I do have a mate though who's really big into anything Tomb Raider um, if he knows that I've got a copy of Tomb Raider for the Sega Saturn he'll probably uh, beg me to sell it to him bet he can jog on because I need it from the collection so um, yeah Tomb Raider another classic game next up we have Sega Ages Volume 1 this is a collection of three classic Mega Drive games you've got Afterburner 2 on there you've got Space Harrier on there and you've also got the classic Outrun on there Outrun is a game that I used to love playing in the arcades um, back as a little kid um, a game to this day which I still have not beat so I can't wait to slap it into the Sega Saturn and actually beat this game after all these years so yeah that's Sega Ages of Volume 1 and then we've got Loaded this is a game that I remember from my youth back in school I don't know if you was like me but in art class we was given sketchbooks and on these sketchbooks we were allowed to cover the um, front cover of the sketchbook with either stickers or a poster and on my sketchbook I covered it with a poster from this I'd never actually played the game didn't even know what it was I just covered it because um, it had this guy in the poster and I thought he looked really cool um, so yeah I did play on this earlier though and like I can say this is a quite a balmy game basically you just pick a character and then you just shoot the shit out of everything you come across so yeah not a bad game that that is loaded next up we have a game which I used to be quite addicted to back in the day and that is theme park I actually own this game on the PS1 as well and when I say addicted I mean addicted when you get into this and you start building your theme parks and it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger I just find it really hard to turn it off I used to be a sucker for these theme um, games back in the day I used to have the theme hospital and the theme restaurant ones as well um, yeah, yeah you, you just play on them and you just get sucked into them so and that's the reason why when I was playing it earlier I didn't put too much time into it because I knew if I started building my theme park that I wouldn't want to get off it I'd just be on this game all night so yeah that's theme park okay so there was all the games that we agreed on but just like the Nintendo 64 bundle Cameron did throw in another little Brucey bonus and that is Dark Saviour this is a game that I've never even heard of but it's an RPG don't play many RPGs not because I don't like them um, it's just because of all the time that you have to put into them but this one does look really interesting like a, I think I'll have fun playing this one so thanks for that Cameron another little Brucey bonus which is most awesome of you so there we go guys that's the Sega Saturn bundle that's nine games in total that now takes my collection up to 20 Sega Saturn games that leaves me 220 to go yep that's quite a lot of games to go but I'm getting there slowly but surely I will get there once again I just want to give a big big thank you to Cameron aka time traveling pirate um, I'm very happy with everything you sent through to me mate the brilliant couldn't ask for more you're top banana mate you really are thanks a lot for that mate <clears throat> just before I go I'd like to say anybody that's thinking of doing a trade or buying from Cameron in the future I do recommend him I mean these games were very well priced very well packaged it doesn't mess about when he sends you things either I mean he sent me these Sega Saturn games yesterday morning and I received them today this um, about dinner time so yeah you don't mess about and he's also a really nice guy to talk to and he's very communicative um, through PM so Bob on do check him out if you get a chance anyway that's it that's everything from me guys that's all I've got to show you so until next time bye bye for now